In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to open a scene with a title in an electronic style format that introduces either the location or the time or both. You often see this in action adventure movies. Let's give you a little taste of where we're going and then we'll move into the tutorial itself. What we have on the screen so far is we have our scenic clip of Portland, Oregon. And then we also have, if we look down below, our dramatic music entrance that we have adjusted to fit the clip. So now we're going to want to add a title telling us where and or when this all occurs. Let me show you the first of two ways to do this. I'm going to move to the title room by clicking on T on the left side. We'll just drag down the default title and I can put it on any video track I want. We'll put it down here on track number two. Then I'll double click. That will move to my title designer. We're going to change a couple things about it before we edit the actual text. We're going to change the font. Now usually I like something in this case that's uh, that looks like it might have come from uh, some kind of electronic format. I could use the Directive 4 condensed. I could use the DOSIS. Um, let me use this one for now. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and resize it. Let's see, 48 is too large. Let's see, maybe something like a either a 20 or 22. Let's do a 22 here. And then we're going to change the text here. I have my caps lock key on and I will say Portland, Oregon. And so I'll take this and then move this down over to the left. And on second thought, I think I'd like that a little smaller. So we'll, let's go ahead and knock that down to 20. And I'm going to add just a little bit of a shadow on it. Let's make the distance uh, just over two. And that looks pretty good. So I'll click on OK. So now I have my title. But what I want to do is I want to make it come on the screen with noise. So I'm going to go back into my title editor, change one more feature here. I'll double click on it. And then we'll go to the Effect tab and click on Starting Effects. They're alphabetical. I'm going to go into my pop-up area. Try pop-up one. Okay. When I play that, that looks pretty good. Now it's coming on the screen too slowly. Uh, the music that I'm going to use is uh, just under two seconds. So let's uh, shorten the um, starting effect to match pretty much the music that I'm going to do use the the actually it's a sound effect and I'll click on OK. So now I have that now I need my sound effect I'll go back to my media room I'll, I have I found one online for free called scanner which I think will work here and so I'll take this and drag this down to another track and I have my scanner sound now the background music's pretty loud so I'm going to want to take the scanner volume and kick it up almost as high as I can. And then let's go ahead and uh, watch and listen to what it looks and sounds like as it comes on the screen. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not the, the perfect solution, but if you want to use some simple tools, it will work. Now let's try another option here. I'm going to go ahead and shorten this title. I don't need it to be quite this long. Let's use another one. Only this time, if you have CyberLink Ultimate in the title room, you have a new, another tool called Titler Pro. And we're going to go down to the new blue area, take our Titler Pro, and drop that down for our next title. 
So I'll double click and we'll get into the Tyler Pro editor. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is enlarge it so you can follow along a little more easily with me. And what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, go ahead and edit the title. I right click and do edit text. And let's say we want to type in Friday, June 4th. And we'll say it's 9 15 a.m. And so we have our title and now with it highlighted again, we'll go ahead and change the font. We'll use the same font we used before. I can make it bold if I want. I like that. And now we're, we're going to stylize it a little bit. Uh, we click on the style tab, click on 2D and I'll go to shadow. And that will give me a little bit of a shadow. And I, I like the default. I think that's going to work pretty good. Now we're going to take the size and bump it down a little more. OK, that looks pretty good. And now we need to adjust how it comes on the screen. So I'm going to take this and um, move it down. And then I'm going to go to my library settings. And in the animations area, I have a type on option. I'm going to click on that subfolder or I can click the right arrow here and go to type on. And I only have one preset. So I'll take that and I'll double click on it. And it will put type on here. I want to again adjust the length. The default is uh, two seconds. I want to make just slightly short so it matches the music. And then I will click on uh, the upper right corner of the X to close the editing window. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that same sound. I'll do right click and we'll copy it. And move over here and we'll right click on the same timeline and paste it. We'll overwrite and then I'll just have to move it to adjust it to the, uh, the same location. And let's see what it looks like when we look, use the second option with Tyler Pro from here on out in our movie. So you can see the difference between the two. I kind of like the effect, the type on effect of the Tyler Pro rather than the pop up effect. I'll show you the difference. We'll try it one more time. But either way, it gives you the nice intro, giving the cue to the viewer of where you are or when you are in your production.